How does this hemp plant turn into this bottle? At Ledge Rock Hemp and Greenleaf, Dan Weezy gave us an inside look. We'll bring it into the facility. Take those branches, cut them down into smaller quantities. Then it's time to defoliate. Basically, take off the leaves Weezy doesn't need. Next. This is a bucking machine. Um, saves the labor of having to hand strip uh, all these plants. So that's all the plant material. And this hemp needs to dry out fast. You know, these buds are very dense and uh, in between these colas, uh, we can get mold at high moistures very, very quickly. This material is about 70% moisture right now. We want to dry it down to 8%. Um, we're able to do that in about 48 hours. It's all a tight time frame, so plants in here are at various stages. Yeah, this is extremely dry uh, material. It, it starts to crumble a little bit. Gonna make a very good extraction grade material. Which now continues our tour with Brad Hansen. First step of the process when you take dried material is we need to mill it up to be able to run it into our extractor. Then once it's all milled up, you get material that doesn't pass through if there's any seeds or anything in the crop. And then this is the actual coarseness of the material that we run. Then from that process, we take our material here and we pre-weigh it out and do food grade containers here. Then we'll take one of these buckets over to our extractor and then we'll load it into these two columns here. And in these two columns is where the actual CO2 extraction process happens. This process strips the hemp plant of the desired CBD extracts. After that, what's left looks a whole lot different. You get what's called a raw crude. It gets pretty technical from here, but essentially these jars are the base of a CBD product blend that you see on shelves. The end result can't have more than 0.3% THC. And we actually third party test our products uh, three separate times. A process that ends here, but begins out here in fields of hemp now growing all throughout Wisconsin. Matt Jarko, NBC 26.